in this video we will be using booth's algorithm to multiply two signed numbers for our example we have taken two different signed numbers minus 7 and minus 4 which we will be multiplying in order to get a positive resultant which is 28 let us do that now here is the booth's algorithm flowchart where we have to start and later do some initializations where the register a should be made 0 and similarly q minus 1 to 0 m will be loaded with the multiplicand q with the multiplier n with the number of bits and then we have to consider two bits that is out of multiplier loaded in q we have to consider only q naught and this q minus 1 register in these two we will be having two different bits say it may be 0 0 or 1 1 if these two conditions occur then we have to just go for arithmetic right shift of the contents in register a q and q minus 1 then we have to reduce n by 1 and check whether n is equal to 0 if yes we can stop the iteration and if no we have to continue with the flow chart if the combination of q naught and q minus 1 is equal to 0 1 then we have to add the content of a with m and redo the same operation shifting reducing n by 1 and checking whether n is equal to 0 or not and so on if the combination is equal to 1 0 then we have to perform the operation a is equal to a minus m where we'll be doing this operation loading the value back to a and again perform the same right shift n minus 1 and n is equal to 0 we have to check whether it happens or not and so on so this is a basic booth's algorithm procedure let us have this idea in mind and then go to the problem the example that we have considered here is minus 7 and minus 4 minus 7 and minus 4 which should result in a positive number 28 which will be the resultant so we know that these are the following initialization that is very important a should be equal to 0 0 0 0 q minus 1 should be equal to 0 m will be loaded with multiplicand q with multiplier n with number of bits and what is a multiplicand multiplicand is minus 7 because this first value will be the multiplicand which is m and minus 4 will be your multiplier that is q so again q is equal to minus 4 when all these are signed numbers then it is very essential to find its two's complement also so here m is equal to minus 7 so we have to find what is minus m what is minus m minus m will be just 7 so let us calculate that so first what is the binary equivalent of 7 it will be 0 1 1 1 what is 1's complement of 7 it will be 1 0 0 0 if we add 1 together this will be 1 0 0 1 which is nothing but 2's complement of 7 2's complement of 7 is equal to minus 7 so what are the binary values here let us substitute minus m which is equal to 7 what is the value of 7 it is 0 1 1 1 what is minus 7 that is 2's complement of 7 which is equal to 1 0 0 1 so we have calculated both m and minus m similarly we have to calculate q and minus q so what is q q equal to minus 4 minus q equal to 4 so what is the binary equivalent of 4 binary equivalent of 4 is 0 1 0 0 so let us do that and calculate the 2's complement of 4 so 4 is equal to 0 1 0 0 1's complement of 4 is equal to 1 0 1 1 when it is 2's complement just add 1 so 1 plus 1 will be 0 we will have a carry 1 again 1 plus 1 will be 0 we will have a carry 1 the same one will be dropped here and the other one so this is nothing but 2's complement of 4 so we can write the answer here it is 1 1 0 0 so we have calculated m minus m q and minus q so with all these calculations we will proceed to the table now we have to initialize that is in the first 
flow, flow chart whatever we have seen we started then we made some initialization what was the initialization make a register to be 0 so 0 0 0 0 next is q what is q q equal to minus 4 which is nothing but double 1 double 0 which is nothing but double 1 double 0 then q minus 1 q minus 1 we are initializing to 0 then what we have to do next step we have to check the bit q naught and q minus 1 so q naught is 0 q minus 1 is 0 when the combination is either 0 0 or 1 1 let us go back to the flow chart whenever the combination is either 0 0 or 1 1 just we have to perform arithmetic right shift reduce the value of n and check whether n is equal to 0 or not that is what we are going to do so it is 0 0 therefore it is just arithmetic right shift so bring the 0 here write remaining 3 bits as such 0 1 1 the fourth bit will be shifted from a which becomes 0 write the remaining 3 bits of a as such and the copy the fourth bit here therefore you have to write the same bit in both the places here and as well as here okay so right shift is done at this time i am writing n is equal to 4 okay what is the next step first we initialized and then later we checked what q naught and q minus 1 we found it to be 0 0 therefore we performed arithmetic right shift operation then we have to do n is equal to n minus 1 n minus 1 therefore n will be equal to 3 then check whether n is equal to 0 no it is equal to 3 therefore we can continue with the algorithm what is the next step again you have to repeat the same flow chart now you have to check q naught and q minus 1 again both the bits are 0 0 if both the bits are 0 0 you have to perform just arithmetic right shift operation so again bring this value q naught to q minus 1 write all these three bits as such the fourth bit will jump from a so this should be 0 write remaining three bits of a as such the other bit will be copied from the first one so now again what we have to do right now n is equal to 3 n equal to n minus 1 so 3 minus 1 will be 2 so now Again, you have to check whether n is equal to 0. No, therefore, I am continuing with the algorithm q0 and q minus 1. Now, we have a new combination of 1, 0. 1, 0 means let us go back to the flow chart. What happens when it is 1, 0? We have to perform a minus m and store it in a. Then again, perform arithmetic right shift n minus 1 and checking whether n is equal to 0 or not. Let us go back. So first we have to perform a equal to a minus m. We will calculate first. What is in a register right now? A register stores the value 0, 0, 0, 0. What is minus m? We have calculated already. Minus m is equal to 0, 1, 1, 1. 0, 1, 1, 1. So we have to add these two where a is equal to a plus minus m this is what we are going to do so a this is minus m we are adding both 0 plus 1 1 0 plus 1 1 0 plus 1 1 0 plus 0 is 0 okay we have to dump this value into a register let us do that 0 1 1 1 and the q register will be 0 0 1 1 this 0 will be remaining as such what we have to do next perform arithmetic right shift okay so what we are going to do shift this one here so this will be one write remaining three bits as such one zero zero and the fourth bit comes from a so this will be one write the remaining three bits of a as such double one zero and copy the same bit paste it here so right now all the contents are filled now what you have to do n equal to n minus 1 so i am reducing n minus 1 so 2 minus 1 becomes 1 again come back check q naught and q minus 1 which are 1 1 
if both are one one it is just right shift operation as per the flow chart so it is just right shift so what we are doing shift it right this one now becomes q minus 1 write the remaining three bits as such 0 0 1 and the fourth bit will come from a it becomes 1 0 0 and here in a register we have three more bits left which is 1 0 0 copy the same variable here which becomes 0 now it is done now what we have to do reduce n equal to n minus 1 we have to reduce by 1 1 minus 1 becomes 0 we have to check whether n is equal to 0 if n is equal to 0 we have to stop so now right now n is equal to 0 therefore we are stopping the iterations now what is the final answer whatever is in the last step that becomes your final answer that is 0 0 0 1 1 1 0 0 we have to calculate the binary equivalent of this number so if we write the weightage it will be like 16 plus 8 plus 4 so 6 plus 4 10 another 10 20 plus 8 equal to 28 so what was our question posted it was minus 4 minus 7 into minus 4 which is equal to 28 what is the result that we got 0 0 0 1 1 1 double 0 which is the binary equivalent of 28 both resulted in the same value therefore we multiply two signed numbers and obtain the same result the whole content has been typed here for clarity i hope the explanation was clear thank you so much for watching